So Billie Eilish is in the news and Billie Eilish basically is telling you do as I say and not as I do as you know most celebrities do Mm -hmm. all the time. Basically it says uh, Billie Eilish climate anxiety makes me want to barf all over the floor but I won't stop selling merch or traveling. Well of course not because that would take some level of uh, personal responsibility and actual commitment to a cause. I I can't imagine having this level of cognitive dissonance because she seems to think that she doesn't force her views on people so she said i've spent all of my effort trying not to be in people's faces about it because people don't respond well to that it makes the causes you believe in look bad because you're like annoying the shit out of everybody good observation i'm still not shoving information down people's throats i'm more like i'm not going to tell you what to do i'm just going to tell you why i do this but you're also a bad person if you don't do it. <laughs> the thing is, she's saying it alarms her to the point where she's feeling ill. I, I like think how much that, time yeah, do you the, think if you read this, making people sick. If you read this interview from Vogue, yeah, oh yeah. they frame it in the most uh, almost cartoonish way where all of it is about how Billy is such a good person. She's such an innovator. She's like so woke and she's so above it all she knows everything about like the climate Thank crisis you. and she's very aware even though she's so young so it, it's literally worded like this i don't want to be parading around like look at me i'm making a difference she says sipping from a reusable water bottle i just want to be making the difference and shutting the f up about it you're doing exactly the opposite of shutting the f up about it's it. It's kind of like Harry, you won't stop talking about it. It's kind of like Harry and Meghan, who like want to not be in the public eye while also being immensely in the public eye all the time. Where, where they make a docu series about themselves and all of their personal yeah. business, and then Harry writes an entire memoir talking about how he like hooked up with a woman outside of a bar when he was seventeen. Yeah. And then, like, killed 25 members of the Taliban that was and so shit. Weird. Like, what are you what? talking about? Yeah. And why should anyone care? Yeah. It's a, well, it's like, it's like, there is like a certain amount of like power, or there's a certain amount of like nobility in the idea that I was a famous person who walked away from it all, but they want to like get the credit for walking away from it all without actually walking away from anything. Right. Like, they want to be told. I'm out of the spotlight. Yeah. Don't look they, at me, but look at me. <laughs> they want to be told, oh my God, you're doing such great work while bragging about how they don't want credit for doing such yeah. great work. Like, I saw a tweet calling this out um, over the Vogue article. They said, the most produced fake BS I can't wait for the time when these marketing people realize we aren't all here like OMG Billy is amazing look at the inclusivity she has so much to say blah 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 over it I don't think it goes away because I think as Gen Z grows up this is going to become worse not better because I think Gen Z will be will love like eats this stuff up there's no much climate there is no, anxiety yeah, there isn't a millennial alive <laughs> that's like ha, 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 I love Billy Eilish because of climate change like that's not a thing that's no. not a thing with actual like grown-ups. I don't their, even think that her Gen Z fan base cares about this issue. Yeah. And also I think Billie Eilish for being as you young as she is. You don't think they is, care. You don't think that Gen Z cares about climate change? Not not the majority. I don't think Gen Z cares about much at all. <laughs> and I also found this story from last year in August while she was still on her world tour where her fans got called out for covering venues and sidewalks with litter that they left behind from waiting in line for her concerts. Everywhere she goes, there was just like a trail of garbage. And I'm like, okay, clearly your fans don't believe what you're saying. You don't believe what you're saying because you refuse to stop you know, flying private, touring the world, selling useless merch for way overinflated prices. Uh, it's not that her fans don't believe it. It's just that they don't have the strength of their convictions when it actually matters. They believe it as long as they're on the internet talking about it. They don't that's believe it That's not real practice. belief. Though. No. Yeah, that's what I said on an earlier episode. I was like, it's, this is toxic awareness culture. Explain it, that. It's people think that bringing awareness to things matters and we're past that point. It doesn't matter like, if you can bring yeah. awareness to it. It matters if you can actually do something. We're about aware. It. Mm-hmm. Thanks. Everyone knows what climate change is or means. Yeah. Yeah. We don't need another celebrity bludgeoning us over the head with the issue when they, like Billie Eilish objectively has a far greater negative environmental impact with the work she does than anyone that she's preaching to. Yeah, so why should we care person. what she's but saying? It's not even celebrities. It's people like, listen, I got 200 friends on Facebook. Okay. I talk about climate change <laughs> awareness. It's like, well, 
who cares? You can you know, bring awareness all day, but does that mean anyone is doing anything positive? I think no. the big the, yeah. the big takeaway I have from it is w- with her saying, if I'm to believe what she says, and that she in that in that climate anxiety is actually making her barf, and she's not just saying that because some handler with the last name Pasternak told her he had to, she had to say that. <laughs> like then I have to believe that the number one takeaway from this is the media is making people sick. Like the media is actually damaging people's minds. Like worse than we actually thought, right? So it's like yeah, not yeah, worse like, than I thought. <laughs> it's uh, I, I I've I've been watching like old episodes of shows, and it's funny. Every show does like at least one episode that has to do with some type of environmentalism, like especially in police procedurals and dramas. There's always one episode where they bump up against, you know, it wasn't called climate change back then; it was global warming. Is there a Criminal or, Minds global warming episode? Um, that's a good question. Yeah, there probably is. Uh, but it, pro- it probably would have been global warming. But in general, any type of environmental activism, right? And it used to be something that we could laugh off as, a, as like, a, it's an important cause, but these people are not going about it in a way that actually wins hearts and minds. It's like something you could care about on Earth Day and then forget about and the then, next yeah, day. Well, it's like, yeah, <laughs> you'd, do, you'd be doing more good for the world by planting trees, right? Remember like Earth Day? I, I remember that. That was like, like, even that's like, who's the biggest loser of climate hysteria? Do you remember it's, me is murder? Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. Well, I mean, wasn't that Lady Gaga's thing? Oh, was that what she was trying the, to say? Was with that what she dress? was saying? Like, see, that's how you know your your activism failed when your when your right. statement doesn't when nobody actually knows what the hell your statement is. Like, she wore a meat dress, <laughs> and then someone's like, "Well, she wore it to promote, like, to uh, story of my life to push back against the the cattle industry." And someone's like, "Actually, she did it to push back against this cause." And then they fight about it. You're like, "Well, clearly, messaging was your problem from the very beginning." But for her, she won an environmentalist award. She won. I wonder how many her and her brother. I wonder if her and her creepy brother. Like, I wonder if she like. Yeah. Flew Blue private to go accept her invite kind of like leo like uh, all of these awards don't mean anything whether it's at the grammys the oscars the golden globes or some obscure environmental activist organization none of these awards mean you did anything I it just means you want praise and adulation do you guys want to bring awareness to something no i right say now? what it means is you brought awareness to something like Dane nice. said. is there something we are not aware of that we need to be aware of um, chat what do we need to be what, yeah, what, what do we need to be what do we of? need to bring more awareness to the fact <laughs> the fact that marvel isn't anime <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like, we, we just brought awareness to that. To the fact that, we're that Marvel <laughs> isn't... We're, yeah, we're activists in our own, right? Uh, listen, I, I want to bring awareness to people. There's a thing called diners. You don't have to go to Waffle House. No. Oh. See, Dane, Dane Dane's is Dane's been still, railing uh, against Waffle House uh, all morning, and I'm honestly sick of it. Dane has spent the whole day... Like about. Dane has spent the whole day being mean about... The whole day. ...about Waffle House. If you like it. IHOP, you're a corporate shill. Also found out that apparently... Um, was It's like waffles the epitome of libertarianism now? <laughs> <laughs> I found out that apparently the Waffle House employee who caught the chair left like a year ago and she is now... The video was old. Banned. Yeah, the, the video was a year old. She was banned from working at wa- further Waffle Houses. Which is crazy because she defense. was doing uh-huh. self-defense. Like what was she supposed to do? Just get hit? Also, it's not like she can control what goes viral. Yeah. Like she's got her own YouTube channel now. She did Tucker Carlson. That like, was actually like a mind. Dude, what F. is Fox News doing? Tucker Carlson was just like, so what was it like? You're catching when, that chair. How did you feel when you, ca- when you caught the chair? This is news. And she was like, um, it was pretty intense. <laughs> like, like, there's it, just nothing else like what are you doing tucker well i like because he's kind of he's like i remember somebody saying like he gets a lot of creative control over what he talks about so he saw that story <laughs> saw the meme potential and was sure. like maybe we should cover this but and like I, a random girl that used to work at waffle house is not pundit material I wonder probably if, i wonder if whoever that was i wonder if he covered target tory do you remember target tory yes. oh yeah i wonder if he brought target he should bring it like just have a whole class of people who have been canceled via but this lady wasn't even canceled so that doesn't even work target tory was just was uh was targeted by that loser dude who tried to get her fired because she wouldn't sell him the uh the electric toothbrush for like three cents or whatever yeah. it said on the on the <laughs> display mount ma- on the display model i want to bring awareness to something go ahead okay. when you're making chocolate chip cookies Sometimes the recipe says soften, but don't melt it in the microwave. Like, be sure to let them out and soften. That way, the cookie turns out more gooey. There you go. Uh, thank you. For I, want to, this I want to bring awareness to that nugget of information. Mary, what would you like to bring awareness to? If if you had Billie Eilish as a as a talking head, 
who could bring I can like tweet to, from her account. Like yeah. yeah, you like if you were like if Billy Eilish if Billy Eilish gave like <laughs> Imagine she had, Mary from Billy Eilish's account. No, I'm picturing Billy Eilish has like a like you know like in Willy Wonka and the chocolate factory where they got the golden ticket. Billy Eilish has like a golden ticket that she puts in one of her albums. And if you buy the album and you get the golden ticket, she'll shill for whatever cause you want her to shill for. What would oh. you have her shill for? I would make her go to March for Life. She's that literally would be the most bizarre she, thing. She literally was like hating on. At the end of the America day, she's just a Fox News girl. She can't of, hide it. Of Roby <laughs> At the end yeah. of the day, she just goes back to. She's uh, Fox, Fox News girl Fox in the News making. Show. You're just gonna like morph into somebody wearing a blue or red. I dress still. Soon. I wanted to bring awareness <laughs> to um, her admission of guilt here. She said, I shouldn't be making any products. I shouldn't be selling anything. It's just more shit to go to the landfill one day. I know that. But no one's going to stop wearing clothes. No one's going to stop making stuff. So I just do it in the best way I possibly can. It's funny because that's literally what the average person is saying. Like the way that they paint the rest of the world is that they don't care. But what it is is just people that aren't of means have to take that same attitude and say, maybe I'll buy a hybrid. Maybe I'll do the, you know, everyone makes their concessions where they can if it's something that they believe in. But the rest of it's like the average person just doesn't have the time, money, or inclination to care. They just don't. They can't. Right. And I, I think she cares about uh, getting recognized for being like a poster child of an issue. She wants to bring awareness to that. Now when like when the Illuminati is like hiring celebrities, they're like, which cause would you like to shill for? You get to pick like they give you a little bubble sheet and you get to pick one. Oh, I want to bring awareness. Brett try to watch three minutes of Survivor. I did. I, I gave it three minutes and then I said no. I quit. I mean that's three minutes more than I expected him to do. It's it's uh I, I like and not even on purpose. I was like literally scrolling through it and I'm like, I'll try. And then I just failed. It was a little bit on purpose. I just failed. Uh, I feel pretty bad. So it's like, uh, for me, if I could pick a cause, what would be my cause if I could get Billie Eilish to promote? Let me know. um, It would be... Bring awareness. It would be men who wear Sperry's with With invisible socks. With chubs, though. Invisible socks? The, the pastel, like, short shorts. That, even that's I'm so like, tired of seeing those. It's, it's more, it's the invisible socks. Don't wear the the no show socks. You know, guys. Croc Crocs and socks is a good combination. It's a super fashion fair talk. I mean, weirdly enough, Crocs are like back right now, yeah. and I don't really? like seeing them in public. Honestly, well, <coughs> not a um, fan of that. Anyway, the, here are a couple of <laughs> other like ridiculous things that she did that show how much of a hypocrite she is. She held a week long cl- climate awareness conference with her brother called overheated and her and her brother never once took the stage to say anything at all and people were like we only came to see billy this is like a trojan horse yeah they're like, using it to get you in there, and then uh, and, and then, then it's just a bunch of nobody. <laughs> yeah, and then another thing she did uh, on her tour last year, she set up these things in conjunction with some random nonprofit called Eco Villages at her concert venues, where fans could fill their water bottles for free, register to vote, and learn about environmental nonprofits. With an emphasis what on BIPOC and women-led organizations. Wow, every single keyword possible. And I'm just imagining the sweaty Gen Z people dude. at these concerts, like going in to refill their water bottle and not giving an F about the, any of the dude, rest of the stuff in these she, tents. In, in, in one sentence, it's like climate change, but think of the women of color and what else? And, go, and register to vote? Yeah, and register to vote. What's she was left? pushing for people to register to vote also like earlier this year. Yeah. What cause? First of all, you can't vote. You're like a child. Not she, you. No, her. she's 20. Oh, well, well, you need to. Well, or 21 or something. There we go. We did it. Yeah. Billie Eilish is voting, guys. How does that make but, you feel? Hey, bring awareness to that. <laughs> there, there was also there was an article James Lindsay posted an article earlier that said like that tide died suddenly into climate change so they're already on the march to to blame everything that's going on right now on on, on climate change so mm-hmm. it's uh it's the world we live in and that's why this stuff passes because I, I see I disagree with you I don't think Gen Z doesn't care I think your 
<clears throat> I don't think you're the microcosm of Gen Z. I think you're pretty unique. I think she is the microcosm of Gen Z. Uh, I think you're pretty unique. I think Gen Z is. Uh, I think they're medicated, scared out of their minds by the media and trying to do anything they can uh, and realizing slowly but surely that you can't change the world on your own by yourself and the problem with that is like now that people live on social media every day feels longer it's like you make some post about something you want to change and then like 20 minutes later you're like but nothing's changing and then people get upset and everyone's depressed and it's just uh, i think it's bad i think it's bad for society celebrities should be uh going out of their way to not promote causes i i'm still standing by my thought that gen z as a whole um does not care about this issue. Thanks. In fact, even the you the activists, the, yeah, and the activists who were uh, interviewed alongside Billie Eilish in this in this cover, even they admitted that they had been initiated into climate activism when they were as young as like eleven years old. That's so creepy. Clearly, it's something they're brainwashed into, and I don't think other members of Gen Z care about it at all. They care about Billie Eilish. They're showing up for Billie Eilish. They're, I, I mean, I just, I don't think that they care about saving the planet. They like want to watch the world burn. <laughs> you think that Gen Z, I mean, yeah, but why do they want to watch the world burn? Because they're being bombarded with climate change propaganda 24 seven. And they're told that the world is ending and Billie Eilish is like, that's right. The world is ending, but I'm still making millions of dollars while the world is ending. Imagine how trap, how like uh, infuriating and suffocating that must be. It's like you have this millionaire telling you, yes, the world is ending and I'm going to make a bunch of money off it <laughs> and still call you the bad guy. Like what yeah. are you supposed to do with that? Right. That's why Gen Z is anxious though. It's not because they think that the world is going to end. I think it's just because they are afraid of all the other ways in which like growing up in today's world is meaningless suffering and it feels apocalyptic yeah. but there's no actual you know climate crisis they're worried about they're they're extremely self-involved i don't think they care about like i have ended the poll ladies like and gentlemen People hate Mondays more than they hate climate change. It is official. It's official, guys. 60% uh, of people <laughs> hate Mondays far more than we they We need hate Billie Eilish change. to bring awareness to Mondays. That's actually a pretty reasonable number. Like, I thought it would be like all Mondays and not a single person. Well, would have some voted. people were contrarian. Who are those like people? Myself, Mary? Like, okay, you guys voted for. Who voted guys. climate change for fun? Just for the no, chaos no of it all. Do you think part of it is also like we're in kind of like, do you know like the idea that Gen Z has about um, quiet quitting? Yeah. Do you think that's kind of what it is? It's like if it's called self-respect. If I if I believe that if Strong I believe opinion. that the world is coming to an end in ten years, per Alexandria Ocasio Cortez and, and Billie Eilish and various other celebrities, they just don't have to give a crap. That's mm -hmm. my favorite boomer take and and Gen X take what? just to trigger Brett. Um, the hopes like, hey, even if you get undervalued and treated badly, you just got to pull up your bootstraps and take it. Yeah, just take just it. take it. I'm the one who Give I'm the more. one who, who simps far more for for boomers. I, 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 I am because you are more, one. I am far oh. more of a boomer defender than anyone here because I find everyone who complains, even though I agree with them, even though I'm like, yes, the housing market does suck. Yes, wages have stagnated for like the last however long. I still laugh and I'm like, well, cry about it more, loser. Like, I need I scientific <laughs> evidence as to why boomers aren't the worst. Uh, why are uh, see, I, scientific? I, I, don't I, want even, I don't even. I don't even really simp for the boomers. It's Gen X. I love Gen X because I'm 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 not Gen X, but I'm close enough. Thanks for watching this clip, guys. If you want to see full episodes or follow us on social media, links are in the description below. Bye. Bye.